The 40-mile convoy of Russian forces heading towards Kyiv has stalled. According to a senior U.S. defense official, that official saying that the troops may be taking a break to regroup as they face fierce resistance, and they are also running low on food, running low on fuel. They've been out there for days now. And now there's word that another Russian convoy could soon be on the move. Correspondent Lucas Tomlinson joins us live from Lviv, Ukraine, with the very latest. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Martha. That's right. There's growing concern here that a detachment of Russian forces about five hours north of here in Brest, Belarus, could be headed this way to cut off a vital artery, a supply chain to Ukraine, bringing American and European weaponry here, as well as vital supplies. Also, it's where, of course, hundreds of thousands of refugees are trying to escape the country to Poland, about 40 miles to the west. Now, earlier, we heard air raid sirens this afternoon. Here's what it sounded like. Ukrainian President Zelensky said the Russians are shelling indiscriminately and killing his civilians. The country that commits war crimes against civilians cannot be a member of the UN Security Council. This country has to be banned from all the ports, channels, airports in the world. Martha, curfew has gone into effect about 45 minutes ago. It extends till 6 a.m. All alcohol sales have been banned here in this town. This is what martial, martial law looks like in Putin's war on day six. Martha? Lucas.